Hello everyone, in today's class, we will see how to export an object from 3ds Max to Unity 3D while ensuring that the object's axis matches Unity's axis and its scale and rotation are set according to Unity's requirements. As you can see on the screen, we have a low poly character. First, I will demonstrate exporting it as usual to show you the potential issues we might encounter when exporting it to Unity 3D. So after selecting the character, I will go to the file menu, then select the export option, then click on export selected, add a file name and export it. Now I will add this character to Unity 3D to demonstrate what issues we might encounter there. I have imported the character into Unity and as you can see the orientation is incorrect. Also if I drop the object into the scene, you can see that its axis does not match Unity's axis and the object having a minus 90 degree rotation on the X axis. If I set the rotation to 0, the orientation of the object in the scene will be incorrect. Now I will delete this character and I will explain the exact method to export the object so that its axis matches Unity's axis and it does not have any rotation applied. For that we will select the object in 3ds Max and enable the reset text form option in the settings. Then we will click on reset selected to reset all transformations applied to the object. This will ensure that all transformations including scaling and rotation are reset to their default values. After that we will either click on collapse all or right click and select convert to editable poly. Now you can see that the object scaling is set to 100 and there is no rotation applied on any axis. Now I will go to the hierarchy panel and click on affect pivot only which allows us to only manipulate the pivot without affecting the object's geometry. From here I will rotate the pivot on the x axis by 90 degrees. If we press A, angular snapping will be enabled. It will allow rotation to snap at 5 degree intervals. It will make easy to rotate by 90 degrees. You can see at the bottom that the pivot has been rotated by 90 degrees on the x axis. You can also add rotation values here manually if needed. Now let's re-export the character. If I import it into Unity 3D again, you can see that when selecting the FBX file, the object is shown correctly and its orientation is correct. If we drop it into the scene, you will notice that the object's axis aligns with the Unity's axis. And in the transform settings, the rotation values for all axes are set to zero. I hope if you encountered similar issues while importing object from 3ds Max to Unity, this video will be beneficial for you. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you in the next video. Take care.